What's going on, everybody? Tinks EDC here, back after a big old break. Um, and I'm just kind of, you know, hanging out in my garage again and smoking a cigar again. Actually, for like the first time in a while. Today, it's the Velvet Rat from Drew Estate. Really good one. And I wanted to do a little review on a knife that's an exclusive to Smoky Mountain Knife Works. If you guys haven't checked them out, check them out for sure. Not one of my most frequent websites I place orders from, but definitely is in the rotation. So this is the Kershaw Bare Knuckle, but this is a Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive. Now the thing that's special about this one is it is in 20 CV rather than the, I believe, 12C28N or 14C28N or one of those that is the standard, which honestly, when I first saw that, when it was um, coming out, the normal bare knuckle, I thought about getting it, but now I'm really glad I didn't because Kershaw seems to be having this little pattern of upgrading a lot of their knives that are USA made into M390 or 20 CV versions. This is actually the first 20 CV version I've seen. I have a dividend in M390 that will uh, show you in a little bit here. And then I also have a USA made blade exclusive uh, knockout as well. And there is also a, um, uh, let's see. No, I don't have the dividend. I have the, I don't know what I have. I can't remember the name, but I'll show it to you anyway. Let's get a close up here before I ramble on forever. So there it is. There is, um, a couple differences with this knife. Obviously the blade steel being 20 CV and the aluminum handle, I believe on the standard model is like a gray color. This is just straight black aluminum. In fact, let's uh, read you off some of the specs here. So it has a blade length of three and a half inches. It has a closed length of 4.7 inches. It's a stone washed finish. It does have the ambidextrous tip up pocket clip. Um, it is made in the USA. It is... EDC knife style, it is described as handle colors black, CPM 20 CV, 6061 T6 aluminum, pretty much the standard stuff. And yeah, I really like it. And this is like a super flip knife. I'm gonna try to get it so it won't open. Like, this is as light as I can do, and it still flings open. You have a hard time not getting this to open. That's how smooth it is. You can just play with this forever. That's, I've carried it a lot. You can kind of tell by the uh, little bit of wear, but my majority is like sitting watching Netflix with the old lady and just flipping it like that. Love it. Really love it. Blade centering came perfect. Super nice carry too. I mean, look how deep that gets. That nobody knows you are even carrying a knife. And I like that the tip or that the pocket clip is black. The more knives I have, the more I'm realizing I really like black pocket clips because a lot of my pants are black. So if I wear like a, like a Spyderco like Para 2 or Para 3, if it's not one of those special editions where it has a satin pocket clip, it just kind of stands out, which for me, I don't like. Most people, it's obviously not really a big deal because those are two of the best selling knives of all time. But there it is. There's my detent. Really like it. I don't think there's a lock bar insert. Not that I can see anyway. I think it's just on the aluminum, which since this isn't titanium, that's usually not an issue anyway. One other thing I noticed is look at this cutout. Look how much of that blade right here is cut out. It's just kind of cool. You don't really ever see that. And like it follows the uh, lockup bar. 
and back. So like the lockup bar is actually engaging. I'm trying to get this. I apologize. My lighting is obviously terrible. The, the lockup bar engages like here and the blade keeps on going past it. They just cut out that little channel in the blade. There you go. There you can kind of see it a little bit better. See right here. I just think that's cool. I don't know. A little bit different. So yeah, I really, really like this knife. If you uh, go check out uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works and they still have them in stock. I just checked before I did this video. They have this one, which is the stone washed and they have a um, black coated blade. And the other kicker, hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for a 20 CV blade USA made knife. That's a really, really good deal. That's, you know, I've seen a couple videos of people that say like the dividend or the, or let's see, Giant Mouse has that one knife that's like a hundred bucks too, but you're starting to be able to really get some solid knives in M390 and 20, C, 20 CV or any of those high, high, really premium steels. That's a, that's a little bit of a trend I see, not that I'm like a super, well, I consider myself a pretty big enthusiast in knives, but I'm not the most knowledgeable in them and I'm not the most knowledgeable in anything, I don't claim to be, but it's just a passion and a hobby of mine. But I see that. I see knives using premium blade steels getting cheaper in cost. And with like the, this exception, it's uh, still made in the USA. It's not, you know, made in China or made in wherever. So speaking of that, I wish I remembered the name of this one. This isn't the dividend, it's the, uh, I can't remember it. Anyway, sorry, I apologize. But here's the two that, I don't know, I think I would consider the, you know, front runners for like a budget M390. Well, I shouldn't say that, I got another one here, but here is the, the knockout, the USA made blade exclusive. They have a whole bunch of versions of this too. I believe they still do. But I mean, that's three Kershaw's right there in 20 CV or these two are M390 for right around the $100 range. And that is a phenomenal value in my opinion, especially getting that premium blade steel. And you know, these ones are nice. They have a nice, um, like a belly to them. But this one, I don't know if you can see it's got a little bit of a belly and then it kind of almost flattens out and comes to a little tip here. It's not just a uniform curve. So this knife is excellent for box cutting because that material gets in there and it just rides this right here and then having that really precise tip just slices right through it. And I really, really love it. Super thin, you know, it's I've probably, yeah, the bare knuckle and the knockout are probably pretty close as far as thickness. So yeah, uh, that's my video. Sorry, I haven't posted in a while. I've got a new position and stuff going on in life. So you know, it's the holidays. So it gets a little crazy. But that's all I got. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my cigar, drink some coffee, watch some office. And I'll talk to you in a few. Love me, hate me, do what you want with me.